Hey, it's Derek here at Castaway Studios again, uh, celebrating the Rodecaster Pro firmware update number 2.0. This is great. There's a few, the word game changer is probably, it feels like it's overused, but everything, every every single step, every one of their firmwares really does make this thing so much more useful for me in my situation. I have a studio that lots of different people come in and use the Rodecaster. I teach how to use the Rodecaster. And the, 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 every, every firmware, the better it gets. And this is why. Um, first of all, there's a quite a simple little add-on they've done, which is in the hardware advanced settings and audio. And it is monitor outputs. So there's, a, there's an option here to automatically mute the monitors. So I can have my monitor button. So I've got my monitors coming through here. I've got some studio monitors over there. And there is a risk with lots of different people using the studio, and I've even done it myself for a, for a moment, uh, where you've got your headphones on and your guests don't realise what's happening, uh, but you've left the monitors on and it's sort of creating a bit of an echo and sort of spoiling your audio. The, having this on means that when a slider is up, I'm, my voice is going to disappear now. There it is. When a slider is up, even a tiny amount, the monitor cuts off. There's no monitor, but not for the pads and the other sounds. So it's really cool. And it just takes, it's a simple setting and just takes away that risk. So as soon as this is up, I know that my when I take these off, I, I cannot hear anything through the studio monitors. Absolutely brilliant and uh, underrated uh, feature, which I am absolutely stoked about. The main, the big thing, I guess, that Rode have been pressured uh, for is to have it so that you can unload the data off the SD card straight to the computer. Because it, it sometimes it's a little bit, it just feels awkward and unprofessional to, if someone, if you're trying to get someone's show off the SD card that they've just recorded, or I use it as a backup, but if someone's recording mainly on here, to pop it out and then find the little converter for the PC and pop that in, it's pretty cumbersome activity. So what what they've done now, and I'll just go to this, is hardware micro SD. They've added this button here that says, you can't read it because it's blurry, but, but it says podcast transfer mode. So when you turn that on, it says, are you sure? Because it just converts the whole thing into basically a drive that the computer, whether it be a Mac or a PC, will recognize as a drive. And then you can transfer the files. Now, I'll give you a tip here, and I just put it on and tested it. Using the USB-C cable, as this is set up, and I had a no I had a 96 gigabytes on that micro SD card, it said... Three three hours forty six minutes it was going to take to to upload the SD. So I would say at this stage I would not recommend using it for simply offloading your backups. Or this is what I do: I offload it into a ginormous hard drive on the PC. I would recommend not doing that, but I'd say it is still a magnificent feature for getting a show off this thing and into the computer or straight into a client's portable drive so they can record on here transfer it onto the portable drive jobs done no little awkward S sd cards that is great uh there's plenty of other new features in here let's go to the the fun bit which is the sound pad on the screen here there's another little button which you won't be able to see but it's this one, it's got like a little musical note symbol, and you've actually got a control over your audio pads now on the Rodecaster Pro. You don't have to use the companion software. So the big one for me, a massive one for me, is the the multiple banks. So it came when I when I opened it up with the new firmware, it says bank one, and it 
and then there's an option to go over to bank two. And that was it. I thought, oh, I thought there was going to be eight. But of course, I made a sound in here, just recorded something randomly. And then the next bank appeared available. So it just keeps adding them on. Apparently, there are eight banks, which means 64 sounds can be included in here, which is fantastic because, like I said before, I've got lots of different people using the studio. And I'll, if you look at, um, let's get it back to normal behavior. Well, I've got that on bank three, so there's nothing there now. So I'll press this button. Watch this. I'll press this button. And then, easy as that, go back to my main bank, which by the end of today will be split because I've got, you can't, you probably can't even see the colors there because of the my bad light. But I've got the intro and outro to a show here. Um, I've got some some noises uh, i've got my ad for my studio here i've got an intro for a show here an outro here some different sounds i need for another show and it's always been an awkward thing to go oh i really need one more sound and you've got to sacrifice what comes off so obviously road uh, kicked ass with this one because now i will simply press that and go to the bank that is named uh, and colored coded for one particular show and you can, I can just keep loading up uh, loading up eight things for that show or 16 or whatever. So this is going to be brilliant and my clients can have a bank that sits there and have to come and reload all of their stuff before using it. So another absolute major thing, the sound banks. Um, there are more things, the, the the companion software's got my activity. You can actually, if you're recording into your sound pads, you can now save those onto your computer. And one other magnificent thing that um, I really like, because I, you know, ideally I will have four or five of these units for various education things that I do. You can actually save the entire settings with or without the the actual sound banks and everything so you can save the entire settings and and load them back into either your roadcaster pro or your other roadcaster pro or clone them all if you've got them just how you want them and you've got multiple studios you can clone them all that is a really really good feature especially if you've got uh like if you've got a setting for when you're uh, out on the road and you're using a bunch of uh, particular microphones and you've got them all, you can have them all set up with the right gain, the right, you know, the right effects. If you're doing live and you want to put the big bottom on and some of the Aphex effects, you can drop it, have it in there. But if you're in back in the studio, you can have the setting for leaving it raw because you know you're going to be editing afterwards and using all your different effects. So that's brilliant. I mean, there's a bunch of other cool stuff, but the big take home game changes for me is the multi-user capability of saving all the settings and also the sound banks and I love it just feels a lot more it's going to feel a lot more professional for me to be able to unload uh, an, a show straight from here without taking little cards out that feels to me that feels a bit kind of portable and temporary so loving it Absolutely loving it. And uh, here we go. The new, my new life starts today. All right, see ya.